uh, we can put some uh, um, olive oil and we're gonna start with onions first and the fennel here we go garlic quite, quite a bit of garlic actually and we can kind of cook everything together saute that first and um, we got bay leaves uh -huh. uh, dry oregano you can use fresh but dry is actually more more flavors to it. A um, little bit of chili pepper flakes, just to give it a little spice. Right there, and keep saute all that together. This is from France directly, this is hard to find. That's but got a, um, a licorice component, licorice right? Licorice component, yeah. I use that for bouillabaisse, any stew tomatoes, stew with seafood is in, in Italy and Europe, in France is really useful. So we just put a little bit. Here we go. Kind of burn all the alcohol. See the smell coming out. Here we go. So we got the, the vegetables cooking right now. That's our current calamari. So we have uh, what you call tubes, calamari tubes right there. Uh -huh. I got two for this dish right there. We're gonna slice it. But we cut our, you know, we, we cut our own. That way you can do a thickness you want. Mm -hmm. It helps a lot, especially for like a caramel stew, that you want it a little bit thick. At this point right now, the vegetables are pretty much ready. We have a nice color. And uh, we're gonna put um, the tomatoes. If those are diced tomatoes, easy. Here we go, we're gonna, here we go, mix everything together. Uh, one more ingredient is a Kalamata olives, right there. I'm gonna put inside here. And of course, be generous on the salt. Tomatoes can take a lot of flavors and black pepper. Here we go. Nice, nice. So we got that going. Um, and we're gonna do the zimmer like that for about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. I don't cook the calamari in the stew. I'm gonna uh, deep fry it on the side. The flour is a flour mix we make with uh, paprika, cumin, ground oregano, ground thyme. There's a lot of spices in that, in that mix right there. Oh, nice, nice. All the flavors are gonna come in the, in the, in the, in the calamari. We deep fry them, cook it, and then we add it up to the dish. And just combine it. And combine everything, and it's gonna thick it out the dish because of the flour. Parsley and uh, basil, of course. The calamari is gonna be nice and, and crunchy and, and soft on the inside, and it's ready to serve. Uh, some legs on top. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now we have a uh, little garnishing on top with basil and parsley. And I got the uh, garlic bread right there. So we have one more touch to do. Okay. We have to do a, a quick uh, lime zest on top as the last finishing. And then we're good to go. So Beautiful. That's it. All right, chef, after you. All right. This looks great. This is comfort food, huh? Comfort Italian food, yeah. comfort food. Italian comfort food. Nice glass of wine and a canty and a, and a piece of bread like that. There we go. Hmm. Yep. Boy, is that good. Yeah, good. Boy, though. that's delicious. Yep. Everything works. With those little chili flakes in there. Yeah, give it Help a spice. Help establish a range, yeah? For, right, for, for yeah. flavor. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Chef, pretty good job. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And we want to say thank you to everybody else who uh, participated on today's program. Folks, it's not going to be that long. We'll see you back here next week, right here on Let's Go Fishing. Man, my, my family's got to taste this. This yeah. is great stuff. <laughs> thank you. Thanks so much. Awesome. Let's go. Do it.